Well, right now, a warning for Southern California about the increased risk of a major earthquake. Experts say a series of small quakes along the San Andreas Fault could lead to a bigger one, and people in the area should revisit their emergency plans. California. The California, California. Beneath California's dynamic landscape, subtle warnings have been emerging from the Earth's crust. Scientists are intensifying efforts to study a newly discovered fracture zone near San Francisco, a geologic feature that managed to escape the notice of established earthquake monitoring networks. Beneath California's dynamic landscape, subtle warnings have been emerging from the Earth's crust. Scientists are intensifying efforts to study a newly discovered fracture zone near San Francisco a geologic feature that managed to escape the notice of established earthquake monitoring networks. This isn't simply another in a long line of California's well-known tremors. It's a development that has raised difficult questions. How did such a significant break remain hidden from even the most advanced seismic instruments? How many other quiet changes are underway beneath the feet of millions in the Golden State? California's earthquake history, from the devastation of 1906 to the recurring clusters of recent years, has forced experts to expect surprises. Now a fresh discovery is driving renewed scrutiny on how well we truly understand the state's fault lines. What are the limits of current technology? What lessons can be drawn as officials, residents, and scientists confront the unknown beneath their cities? Let's explore California's hidden fractures, examine the state's seismic vulnerabilities, and unravel the story of newly detected cracks that have focused national attention on the restless ground below. Chapter one. Giant crack discovered near San Francisco. In the seismology community, a single term can spark immediate concern, unmonitored. Such is the label now attached to a previously undetected subsurface fracture near San Francisco, a discovery that has challenged confidence in fault monitoring systems. Community leaders and scientists alike have been asking, how could a geologically significant structure develop in one of the world's most intensively monitored seismic regions with no clear indication in the data until recently? The answer lies in the nature of faulting and detection. Seismic instruments are designed to capture ground vibrations, registering both sudden earthquakes and slower, more subtle shifts. Some faults creep at rates so slow, their motion barely registers on traditional networks. This new fracture zone, now the focus of urgent geotechnical surveys, appears to be such a feature. It moved quietly beneath the detection threshold, only becoming apparent when cumulative shifts produced structural anomalies, doors sticking, hairline wall cracks, and imperceptible changes in city infrastructure. Geotechnical teams have since deployed advanced tools, from ground-penetrating radar to satellite-based NSAR, to track the feature's extent and activity. Early findings suggest it crosses beneath key infrastructure and established fault lines. The implications are sobering. Even in the most closely watched places, significant changes can happen undetected, pressing the need for both smarter technology and renewed vigilance. Chapter two, challenges in earthquake prediction. The quest to predict earthquakes is a scientific frontier both tantalizing and elusive. For decades, experts have sought insight through the study of foreshocks, small early quakes that sometimes precede larger ones. The newly discovered San Francisco fracture raises pressing questions. If such a feature went unregistered, what does that mean for our ability to spot warning signs? While some major earthquakes have been preceded by detectable swarms of minor tremors, many have not. California's seismic records contain numerous events with little or no warning activity, underscoring the complexity and unpredictability of earthquake genesis. After the discovery, teams reviewed weeks of archived seismic data, searching for overlooked signals, tiny shakes or shifts, faint energy signatures. Yet much of the data was quiet affirming that not all changes produce recognizable precursors. Researchers are now testing denser monitoring systems, fiber optic cables, machine learning for pattern recognition, and real-time satellite measurements. The hope is to better detect subtle changes in strain or slip that might herald future events. For now, however, the lesson remains clear. Reliable earthquake prediction is still beyond reach, and the Earth's surprises are rarely preceded by clear warning. Chapter 3 Invisible faults and unknown hazards. Not all of California's faults are mapped or well understood. The state's geology is riddled with hidden structures, fractures buried deep beneath sediment or urban sprawl. After the discovery near San Francisco, experts are again asking, how many dormant or unknown faults lie beneath California's cities? Advances in technology, satellite mapping, airborne LIDAR, and subsurface imaging 
have revealed previously unidentified features across the region. These faults can remain quiet for centuries before generating seismic activity. In many cases, it's only after an event that their traces become evident in the geological record. The recent crack discovery is testament to the fact that the inventory of California's hazards is incomplete. The implications are considerable. Infrastructure planning, insurance risk models, and emergency preparedness protocols often rest on mapped hazards. Each new or overlooked fault can demand recalibration, forcing officials and planners to quickly adapt to an evolving risk landscape. Chapter 4. Seismic Silence. A Deceptive Calm. Periods of seismic quietness can be misleading. In California, long intervals with little or no shaking have sometimes preceded powerfully disruptive earthquakes. The San Francisco crack brings renewed focus on a key question. Can the absence of seismic noise be an indicator of rising risk rather than safety? Scientists know that faults can lock, accumulating stress silently for decades. This accumulated energy can release suddenly, catching both residents and monitoring systems off guard. In this case, calm conditions gave way to the detection of a significant fracture only after the quiet was broken by subtle changes. As a result, new debates are underway about whether extended periods of seismic silence should be viewed as possible warning signs and whether protocols should require increased monitoring during such lulls. Chapter 5. Decision-Making in Crisis the discovery of the unnoticed crack led to rapid and sometimes contentious deliberations among city leaders and emergency managers. When objective indicators are absent or unclear, when should authorities raise alarms, and how much caution is too much? Earthquake warning protocols are designed around thresholds, magnitudes, depths, and event patterns. But when a new geologic feature appears without triggering those metrics, decision makers are left grappling with incomplete information. In San Francisco, panels of independent experts as well as local engineers ultimately agreed on the need for heightened vigilance. This episode highlighted the tension between timely response and the risk of overreaction, a balancing act that continues to evolve in the face of emerging geologic uncertainties. Chapter 6. Technological Limitations No network of tools is infallible. California's advanced seismic arrays and dense sensor coverage provide immense data, but they have limits especially when confronted with slow-moving creep or very subtle displacements. Such movements may not trigger alarms but can nevertheless cause cumulative impacts over time. The missed crack spurred interest in broader and deeper monitoring. Next-generation sensors are being tested for their ability to pick up slow or aseismic slip, and new satellite imaging campaigns are increasing scanning resolution. With each technological step forward, the complexity of data analysis grows requiring new methods to separate meaningful signals from noise. Machine learning and distributed sensing are helping bridge these gaps, but experts agree, no system will ever guarantee detection of every subterranean change. Chapter 7. The Pacific Plate's Influence California's seismic profile is shaped by its position along the Pacific Plate, one of the most dynamic tectonic boundaries on Earth. The San Andreas Fault, among others, marks the frontier between the Pacific and North American plates. The evolving stress regime of the plate boundary is key to understanding both large earthquakes and more subtle deformation events. The emergence of new fractures or zones of slip is sometimes attributed to larger regional stress transfers. In recent years, satellite and sensor data have documented wider diffusion of stress, including networks of minor faults beyond the long-studied San Andreas. The discovery near San Francisco is a reminder that the Pacific Plate's behavior is complex and may manifest in ways not fully captured by current fault models. Chapter 8. Learning from Geological History California's landscape bears the imprint of repeated seismic upheaval. Each major earthquake leaves behind geologic records, offset layers, sand blows, and fault scarps that researchers use to reconstruct the state's seismic history. While the past offers crucial context for assessing risk, it does not guarantee future patterns. Investigations following the new crack discovery have included reviews of historical records and soil core analyses for evidence of past ruptures. While some analogies can be drawn, the Earth's dynamic system frequently produces unprecedented scenarios. As such, the study of seismic history remains a powerful but always incomplete guide. Chapter 9. Volcanic Risks Reconsidered California is best known for earthquakes, but it also possesses volcanic hazards, from Mount Shasta in the north to long, quiet fields in the south. 
Some researchers, upon discovery of new cracks or thermal anomalies, examine the potential for deep magmatic intrusion as a factor. While there is currently no verified evidence that the San Francisco fracture is linked to magma movement or impending volcanic activity, responsible agencies like the USGS have protocols for increased surveillance when unexplained ground changes are detected. At this time, studies have identified no direct volcanic threat associated with the recent fracture. Nonetheless, the episode underscores the interconnectedness of tectonic and volcanic processes. Chapter 10 plate fragmentation, and microplates. The movement of the Earth's plates is not always orderly. Along the Pacific Rim, major plates occasionally splinter into smaller microplates and blocks, creating a patchwork of local tectonics. In California, scientists use satellite geodesy and seismic networks to chart this subtle fragmentation. No current data links the recent San Francisco crack with the formation of a new plate fragment or microplate. Instead, its detection points to the need for ongoing study of deformation zones and the possibility of small, independent blocks modifying local stress fields. Such processes can increase local seismic complexity, reinforcing the need for adaptable risk models. Chapter 11. California and Subduction Zone Influences Though California's principal faults are not pure subduction zones, their dynamics are influenced by the state's broader tectonic environment including the now still remnants of ancient subduction along the margin. The Cascadia subduction zone to the north remains of principal concern due to its capacity for massive earthquakes and tsunamis. While the newly discovered fracture is not directly associated with active subduction, it is a reminder that stress can be transmitted and modified across regional boundaries, sometimes producing effects far afield. Emergency planners have incorporated cross-jurisdictional scenarios to account for interconnected risks, but no evidence exists that the San Francisco crack increases Cascadia or other subduction zone hazards at present. Chapter 12. Seismic Migration and Regional Connections Earthquakes often cluster and migrate. Activity on one fault can increase or decrease strain on others nearby, or even at some distance. The monitoring of such migration is a key part of California's seismic risk assessment. The current understanding is that while significant ruptures can modify the stress state of the crust and sometimes trigger subsequent seismicity, these interactions are complex and not always predictable. The San Francisco crack's appearance has prompted reviews of nearby faults for signs of secondary activation, though no increased risk has been definitively established. Planners continue to update risk maps to account for potential cascading events. Chapter 13. City Resilience Strategies San Francisco, and California's other cities, have pioneered building codes, seismic retrofitting, and emergency preparedness in response to earthquake risk. The new crack underscores persistent vulnerabilities, especially from unanticipated or unmapped hazards. Recent events have driven new standards for resilient design. Flexible structures, enhanced foundation engineering, and expanding the use of early warning systems. Drills and public education efforts are increasingly emphasizing readiness for a range of scenarios, including those that defy standard models or arrive with little warning. Chapter 14. Social Impacts of Geological Surprise The cost of seismic events is measured not only in infrastructure, but in the impacts felt by communities and individuals. Discoveries or warnings can trigger anxiety, economic disruption, and profound uncertainty. The recent fracture event prompted localized evacuations and heightened concern among residents. Some neighborhoods experienced temporary closures and increased demand for counseling services. Community groups and officials have focused on outreach, education, and support to help mitigate psychological and social consequences, recognizing that resilient cities depend on both sound infrastructure and strong social cohesion. Chapter 15. Advancing Knowledge in the Face of Uncertainty Each episode of Seismic Surprise forces a re-examination of scientific assumptions. After the San Francisco crack was documented, universities and research centers redoubled efforts in real-time monitoring, algorithm development, and community-based sensing, initiatives supported by both public agencies and private organizations. Programs now encourage citizen participation with residents installing low-cost sensors and contributing to crowdsourced data efforts. There is growing recognition that rapid learning and information sharing drive progress, and that embracing uncertainty is critical to advancing risk reduction and resilience. Chapter 16. California's Future, Living with Change. 
California's natural history is defined by transformation. The unnoticed crack near San Francisco is a reminder, both to the state and the world, that despite all advances in science and engineering, the ground remains unpredictable. Earthquake risk is part of the region's identity, demanding both humility and innovation from all who dwell above its faults. Officials, scientists, and everyday Californians are adjusting plans, strengthening infrastructure, and deepening preparedness, not as a guarantee against the unknown, but as a commitment to resilience in its presence. The only certainty is continued change, and with every new discovery underfoot, the journey to understanding continues. If you want more explorations into Earth's mysteries and the science that shapes our daily lives, subscribe and join us in uncovering the truth written in stone beneath California and beyond. Chapter 17. When small changes become big events. At what point does a quiet fracture stop being a curiosity and start becoming a threat? Geologists caution that many of Earth's most consequential shifts begin at scales too small to notice. A millimeter of movement today can translate into meters of displacement decades later. The San Francisco fracture has refocused attention on this uncomfortable truth. Seismic risk is not only about dramatic earthquakes, but about slow accumulation. Historical analyses show that several damaging California earthquakes were preceded by long periods of gradual deformation, subtle bending of the crust that escaped attention until failure occurred. Scientists are now studying whether the newly discovered crack represents an early stage of such a process. While no immediate danger has been identified, models indicate that sustained strain along even minor structures can eventually alter stress on larger neighboring faults. The concern is not panic, but timing. When slow changes accelerate, the transition can be abrupt. Understanding when and how that threshold is crossed remains one of seismology's most pressing challenges. Chapter 18. Urban Geology, a city built on motion. Cities do not rest gently on the land, they reshape it. San Francisco's dense infrastructure complicates geological interpretation. Tunnels, foundations, seawalls, and buried utilities all interact with the natural movement of the ground. In some cases, human construction can amplify strain or mask early warning signs by redistributing stress in unpredictable ways. Researchers studying the new fracture are now accounting for urban geology, the interaction between natural faulting and decades of construction layered above it. Certain neighborhoods sit atop reclaimed land or sediment-filled basins, which respond differently to movement than solid bedrock. These zones can experience exaggerated shaking or deformation, even during moderate events. The discovery has prompted renewed evaluation of underground maps, legacy infrastructure, and assumptions about load-bearing stability. It is a reminder that cities are not passive observers of geology. They are active participants in the forces shaping the crust beneath them. Chapter 19. The Global Lesson of Local Faults California's discovery is not unique, and that is precisely why it matters. Around the world, similar hidden faults have been uncovered beneath cities once considered well understood. Los Angeles, Istanbul, Tokyo, and parts of Europe. In many cases, these features were only recognized after damage occurred. The San Francisco fracture now joins a growing list of examples, proving that even advanced monitoring does not equal complete knowledge. International seismic agencies are watching closely. The event has sparked renewed dialogue about global monitoring standards, data sharing, and whether current hazard models underestimate the role of slow slip and aseismic deformation. What happens in California informs policy far beyond its borders. The deeper lesson is humbling. Earth's crust is more fragmented, more flexible, and more adaptive than our maps suggest. Each new discovery forces science to revise, not just refine, its understanding of risk. Chapter 20. Listening to a quiet Earth. The most dangerous signals are not always loud. As California scientists continue to study the hidden fracture, the emphasis has shifted from dramatic prediction to careful listening. Seismometers, satellites, fiber optic cables, and even citizen sensors are now part of a broader effort to hear what the ground is saying before it shouts. This approach reflects a changing philosophy in Earth science. Preparedness over prediction, awareness over certainty. The San Francisco crack has not rewritten California's seismic outlook, but it has deepened it. It reinforces the idea that risk is not static and that understanding the planet requires constant revision. Beneath the streets, the Earth continues its slow conversation, folding, stretching, adjusting. The challenge for humanity is not to silence that conversation, but to understand it in time.